Why have they failed to get this money out to the folks who desperately need it to stay afloat? Is it incompetence? Corruption? Trump was out there tweeting again this morning. I called him President Tweety. So what you just heard there was Joe Biden calling Donald Trump President Tweety, referencing the fact that Donald Trump is often on Twitter, certainly more than most high-ranking world politicians. It's something that Donald Trump does a lot. And so Biden's saying, stop being President Tweety and actually do your job. And I have to say that this is almost the cringiest, you know, political nickname that I can think of. It's nothing offensive. It's nothing, you know, mean. It's not like Biden is a bad person for doing this. But when you hear President Tweedy, it sounds to me, frankly, like this was something the Biden campaign focus grouped and cooked up and paid consultants to do and, you know, spent tens of thousands, if not more dollars, ensuring that this polled well, all for Biden to quote unquote casually call Donald Trump a nickname to poke fun at him. And it's just so weak. It's such a weak insult. Like with the joke that, oh, Donald Trump's on Twitter a lot, that wasn't funny back in 2016. It's not a novel way of making fun of a politician. It's not a novel way at, you know, putting your opponent off balance by, you know, jibing at them. It doesn't do that. Donald Trump's campaign has been more effective, I feel, at launching these sorts of attacks on Biden and the Democrats. What they do more effectively is point out the flagrant hypocrisies of the Democrats in these ads. They point out fundamental weaknesses which bring into question their ability to do the job. You might be able to say that Donald Trump being on Twitter means that he's not doing his job, but I don't think that's as effective as, say, going after Donald Trump on f serious issues, going after Donald Trump on his fundamental weakness of character, going after Donald Trump on the fact that he's an extremely insecure person that can't take criticism. That's a much better way of finding some path to make fun of Donald Trump than just saying that he's President Tweety. It just really isn't going to work. And if anything, you know, I, I think this is going to be seen as so cringy that it's part of the Democrats' perceived, image-obsessed, overly manufactured, overly polished campaign. You know, that everything has to be quaffed. Nothing can be organic. Nothing can be off the cuff. Because whenever Biden does go off the cuff, we see the cognitive decline and the dementia. They're not willing to take risks. And then when you don't take risks with your humor, then it's rarely funny. Donald Trump has used, you know, the clips of Biden with the cognitive decline and the dementia. You could think it's tasteful or not, but those ads were effective. Donald Trump used the clips of Nancy Pelosi bragging about her luxury ice cream collection during a global economic crisis. They used that effectively. It pointed out the hypocrisy. It pointed out the fact that these corporate Democrats, these rich neoliberal Democrats, pretend to care about you, but when the chips are down, they don't. Those were effective ads that made fun of your opponent, that could create a nickname like Sleepy Joe or Nancy Antoinette, but that were nonetheless connected to your political project. And I'm not defending Donald Trump. I think those ads were effective because they were bringing up what's true about Pelosi and Biden, although Donald Trump also is not above lying regarding his political opponents, and I don't stand for that either. Here, Biden needs to find a much better and frankly more hilarious way of attacking Donald Trump because I don't think this is going to get the job done. Everything I'm seeing on social media right now that isn't from somebody that's diehard in the Biden camp already, you know, that they're very clearly a vote blue no matter who corporate Democrat, sees this as the ultimate cringe. Young people I see on social media see this as super cringy, and they will not like it. People like authenticity. They like to know that in politics, 
this politician, this party, this campaign is speaking to me authentically. If they don't think you're being authentic, then people are going to react negatively. And that's not just regarding policy. Policy is a big part of it. If a party or politician promises something, but no one trusts them, the authenticity may not be there and people won't be as excited as if that promise came from somebody who they feel was ideologically and politically authentic. But it also has to do with your style. Remember Hillary Clinton when she was basically saying, you know, we have to make sure we get the young people to Pokemon Go to the polls because Pokemon Go was the big, you know, mobile game at the time. And, you know, she probably heard this was a big deal. And somebody on her campaign staff was like, hey, Hillary, it's time for your recommended once per day millennial reference quota. Make it about Pokemon Go. It's polling really well. It's trending really well on our internal metrics. And Hillary was like, confirmed, will make joke about Pokemon Go today on campaign trail came off as totally awful and it didn't convince anyone at all. And ultimately the youth didn't Pokemon Go to the polls. And I honestly feel that will be the same reaction to this form of Joe Biden humor. Frankly, if the Democrats are going to engage in a, you know, trolling element to their campaign, they have to get much better at it. Strike at what makes Donald Trump a bad president in a humorous way. Strike at his weaknesses and strike at his insecurities. If you're actually going to do it, calling someone President Tweety is going to have the exact opposite effect. We don't want to see you lose, Democrats. The left, we don't want to see it. A lot of people will say, oh, the left wants to see Trump win. That's why they're criticizing Biden. Nothing could be further from the truth. We're criticizing Biden every single gosh darn day because we know that the man is a weak candidate and the man is running a poor campaign and that Donald Trump's poor performance is masking that for now. But if this keeps going and Biden keeps on creating own goal after own goal and cringe moment after cringe moment, the polls will tighten and we might see Donald Trump win again and nobody on the left wants that.